On Saturday, Van Miller, a 49-year-old Las Vegas resident, was arrested near a checkpoint at a Trump rally in Coachella, California. Miller, who is a self-described investigative journalist and co-founder of a far-right website, presented fake VIP credentials at the rally, immediately drawing the attention of law enforcement. When deputies conducted a search of his vehicle, what they found was alarming, a shotgun, a loaded handgun, a high-capacity magazine, and several passports and driver's licenses with different names. This led Riverside County Sheriff Chad Bianco to claim that Miller may have been plotting to assassinate former President Donald Trump, calling him a political lunatic. But the story doesn't end there. While Sheriff Bianco took a hard stance during a press conference, even suggesting that deputies may have thwarted an assassination attempt, a source close to Trump's campaign downplayed the threat. According to this source, there was no assassination attempt, and the man with the firearms didn't pose an immediate danger to Trump or the rally attendees. So what was Miller's real intention? And why was he carrying multiple forms of fake identification and unregistered firearms? Miller, a registered Republican who ran for assemblyman in Nevada's 13th District in 2022, describes himself as a defender of Second Amendment rights and a fighter against what he believes to be widespread voter fraud. His political leanings are evident in his LinkedIn profile, where he claims to want to restore constitutional rights and push back against the establishment. But his arrest raises serious questions about how far he was willing to go. The timing of this incident is crucial, especially given two previous assassination attempts against Trump this year. The first occurred in Butler, Pennsylvania in July, when a shooter fired at Trump during a rally, injuring the former president and killing one attendee before being taken down by the Secret Service. Then, in September, another attempt was made while Trump was golfing in West Palm Beach. The assailant, Ryan Wesley Ralph, was arrested after being fired upon by Trump security team. These back-to-back -back attempts have put Trump security detail on high alert, so it's no surprise that Miller's presence near the rally, armed with illegal firearms, raised red flags. However, the fact remains that Miller was released on bail, posting $10,000 after being charged with two misdemeanors for illegal firearm possession. His next court appearance is set for January 2nd, leaving many wondering what consequences he'll ultimately face. Was Miller a legitimate threat, or was this a case of overreaction from authorities eager to prevent another high-profile attack? This case highlights the growing tension surrounding Trump's rallies, where political passions are at an all-time high. Supporters of the former president are more active and vocal than ever, but as this incident shows, there is a very real concern about the safety of both Trump and the people who attend these events. With Van Miller's case still developing, and his bizarre collection of fake IDs and weapons, we can expect more revelations in the weeks ahead. As Van Miller's case unfolds, there are still many unanswered questions. What was his true intent, and how will this impact Trump's rallies moving forward? Whether this was an assassination attempt or not, the safety concerns are real, and the need for vigilance is clearer than ever. Thank you for watching the Fame Journey. If you found this video insightful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on this story and other breaking news. Let us know in the comments below, do you think Vim Miller posed a real threat to Donald Trump? We'd love to hear your thoughts.